Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Punch Out. So, yeah, I totally lost completely against Hoy Corlo last time. Uh, since then, I've done a little training. So, he's not as difficult anymore, thankfully. Yeah, I'll be able to take him out uh, with no problem, but uh, the last two guys, while I'm, I'm much better than I, I was going to be, I'm, they're still really difficult. <laughs> But I should be able to still um, show you the ending by the end of this episode. So let's hope for that. Like I said before, um, the last episode, because we've already unlocked uh, oh, dang it, special uh, the special circuit, I don't really care if I lose or not because I don't get anything extra if I get through this without any losses. So, you know, if I lose, I'll just continue. So far, I'm doing really good. Though, uh, the next two guys, again, they're, they're way, way tougher. Dang it. Do that way too soon. Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. No, come on. Still gonna be. I mean, obviously he's got two downs, got none. I'll be fine. Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, stupid thing. You really have to guess where each of those four strikes are gonna gonna hit, because there's two up and two down, but you never know which one's gonna be which. Oh, well, one more hit. Ish. Uh, whoops. Oh, well, there we go. Once he's finished with this. There we go. So that is Horkorlo, uh, who I said last time was my brick wall when I was a kid. Could not beat him for the life of me, and now he's kind of easy, but only because he, he has he follows a very specific pattern if you pay attention. Okay, and I mean look, my, my best time there is fifty nine seconds from the training that I've been doing, so yeah, not bad. Here we got Rick Bruiser. I like to point out that music is so awesome. And this is not gonna be easy. Rick Bruiser is difficult. He's got a lot of tricks. He's fast. He can counterattack, so if you see him counterattack Ow, ow. Like that, move right away. Also, whoops, I should be following my own advice of uh, always going for body blows with uh, with him, just because he can easily paralyze your gloves, that kind of thing, so. Ow. When he jumps aside and flashes, you'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, and there's that, where he does that. Frick. Um, right here. Dodge right now because he always follows that up with an uppercut and I'm pretty sure it always it either kills you or comes super close and he's paralyzed my glove. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, okay. I'll beat him, but he's definitely not easy. Dang it. Oh, that was close. I miss, of course. Ah, oh, come on. Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm just super concentrating. <laughs> but he's almost done for the second time. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm probably gonna get knocked down once. That's fine. Get some life back. Ah, oh, dang. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, before you know what he's doing, um, this guy is super, super difficult. It just it just feels like no matter what you do, he's just killing you. Oh, okay, I'm down. 
Still doing good. Still doing fine. Ow. Yes. There we go. So yeah, definitely not easy. Uh, this next guy, the last guy, um, outrageously difficult. And even when you start to learn um, kind of what to do and to take him out, uh, if you go past three minutes, you lose. So, and this Nick Bruiser, oh my god, he's scary as shit. Um, but yeah, if you don't beat him in three minutes, you lose. So even when you get good at him, ugh, and by the way, he looks like Bruce Willis. Scares the crap out of me. So the beginning, he has no defense. So go after him twice, dodge. Hit him twice, dodge. Hit him twice, dodge. It's the, like, the only really good technique I know. There we go. And if I'm lucky... Oh, I didn't hit it. But uh, you can actually knock him out when he comes back from that. It's the only like real trick I know from this guy. Crap. Oh. Okay, so that thing, when it comes barreling down at you, that jump will kill you one hit no matter what. You must duck down. Uh, or, or no, sorry, left or right. And then he follows with two punches, which you should duck down for. Anyways, holy crap. To be honest, I'm doing that pretty... Pr oh, oh, I was doing good. Uh, for cuts, three of them. Oh, wait, two of them, sorry. Shit. Ugh. I hate that thing so damn much. Okay, he's down once. Still, though, that took me a minute. And I need to get him down three times. So I might lose this just because it takes too long, which is friggin' frustrating as crap. Crap, okay. Dodge, dodge. Ah. Uh, frig, that is ridiculously difficult to counter. He hits you 12 times, and they still take damage even if you block him, then it's a crazy uppercut. I don't think I'm going to win this. Ah, no, I don't think I'm going to win this. Come on. Ah. Two, three, four, ow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think I've got this. Even if I survive all this stuff, he he's I don't have enough time to take him out. Yeah, I'm out. Alright, well whatever. I don't really care if I lose, so I can just start him up right there. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can actually knock him out at the very beginning. That would save me a ton of time. Damn you, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, why? Yeah, 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 I don't care. Come on, come on, hurry up. Uh, to be honest, this guy is, is by far the easiest of the last bosses in the Punch-Out games. Much easier than Mike Tyson. There we go. Come on. Damn it. Oh, well. Good amount of punches on him anyways. That's what really matters. Ah, oh, dang it. Ow. There we go. Down, down. You can see how much damage those punches take off. It's ridiculous. Also, he can dodge your super, super, super easy. Um, when you get them, be very thankful. Oh, jeez, that was weird. Crap. Oh, my God. I really thought I was going to get killed there. Okay, one down in one minute. I need to hit him with some supers, though. Damn it. 
Oh, come on, that was awful. And when he paralyzes your glove, because you have to hit him in, in like, a left-right, left-right thing, when he paralyzes the glove, you're, you're screwed for a bit. You can't hit him. Ugh, doing awful again. Okay, that's good. Ah, nice. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he's doing uh, his no defense thing again from the beginning of the match, so I can hit him a few times here. Damn it. Yeah, okay. I still, I still need to take him out in less than a minute, though. Oh, don't come back with too much life. Oh, he's going to have so much life. Oh, look at all that life. Come on, Phil. Damn it. Lost. I think I lost just because of that. So now I can barely hit him. So. Oh, damn it. That was good, though. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't have this just because of that bullshit. And three, two, one, done. So no matter how good I did, it does not matter. I've lost, and that's ridiculous. I, I really hate that. <sighs> Alright, let's try one more. There we go. Okay, well, it's a good amount of time, actually. Nice. Get my life back. Oh, he's down for four. That's not bad. All right. I think I can do this one. That was super close. Fuck. No more supers. I just got to take them out with regular things, or I can just get hit. Frig. Do much better. Nice. Okay, yeah. I think I got this one. Considering I'm actually, like, it's still a full health, technically. That's really, really, really good. Okay. A minute and eight seconds. I can do this.
Got him. There we go. Okay. Whoo! So three tries. Too, not too, too, too bad, actually. And to be honest, that was an awesome fight. Still, though, I had freaking 18 seconds left on the clock. And with that, that is Super Punch-Out. Um, unlike uh, the new Punch-Out, there's... Ugh. See, I, I've been to 151. That's really good. Wow. Uh, unlike in in the newest Punch-Out for, for Wii, there's no extra matches or anything like that. Um, every time you beat a, um, a a circuit, you get the ability to, to do that circuit in time attack. Uh, so you can practice on... So when I finally beat... Uh, the last boss in this, uh, I, I went in and practiced a bunch of times, figure out what I could do. So without that, like it took me a good hour of just straight fighting him over and over again to figure out what to do to fight uh, to beat him. So you get some really kind of lame banter from I guess all the uh, guys you've already beaten, uh, and your best time, which is kind of nice. Um, I like this punch out. It's definitely fun, but it's it's weird. Because it's like it's definitely the easiest punch out of all the punch outs by far. Um, it's also the most different in all the other punch out games. You actually have the rounds, you know, round uh, one, two, and three. Um, so it's not three knockdowns; it's three knockdowns within one uh, round. Or if they just stay down to ten, which happens a lot more often in uh, in, in in the other punch outs. Also, this one has that weird kind of uh, super gauge, which is only in this game, I think, because in Punch-Out... Well, I think maybe it's in the arcades, I'm not sure. I haven't really played those. Uh, but in Punch-Out and Punch-Out Wii, it's it's the star thing, which I think is a lot cooler. Um, whenever you kind of surprise the enemy, you get a star, and stars uh, are, your, are your super punch. You can only do them for each star that you have, but every time you get hit, you lose a star. So it's a lot more uh, risk-reward. Well, this is like, you hit him a bunch of times, now keep punching him with super punches. Um, in the new Punch-Out, you can get up to three stars, and when you use your super punch, it uses all your stars, and the more stars you have, the more powerful it is, and you get some crazy punches in that game. Uh, but I like that more just because it, it adds more of a puzzle thing. It's like, yeah, you, you beat this guy, but do you know how to get all the stars and, and beat him super fast with, with a super punch? Uh, and I think that's really fun, really cool. Uh, I like how in the new punch out, um, you not only do you unlock kind of a, um, a time attack mode for each character, you actually get like a like a, a list of goals, like three objectives against each boxer, and I think that's really cool because it really tells you like this, you know, this is the kind of stuff you can do, so you'll look really good when you play this with your friends. Uh, also, it has the rematches, which are awesome um, because I think yeah, punch out Wii has the less. Uh, the least amount of, of uh, characters, I think. I forget how many are in the original Punch-Out, though you do refight a couple guys. Um, oh, and Charles Martinet. Special thanks to him. I think I think I heard he was the voice of the referee. That's kind of cool. Uh, but in the new Punch-Out, there's only um, 13 guys. Um, but then you refight them all again, and at the very, very end, you can fight Donkey Kong, which is kind of cool. So it's actually um, 14 guys. But I like how Super Punch-Out has, has 16 characters, and quite a lot of them are brand new for this game, which is really cool. Um, so that's kind of nice. So yeah, that's all the guys. Um, it's a little lazy that's Rick and Nick, the base of the same model. Um, but uh, whatever, they're, they're good fights. Very special thanks to Stage 1, Dash 1, <laughs> my channel. Check it out. Obviously, you're on it right now. And I am a great fighter. 32 wins, 20 losses, 20 damn losses. And the funny part is, is like one of that was Mr. Sandman, like two of those were Horror Corlo, and the rest were completely Rick and Nick Bruiser. Ugh, what a bunch of assholes. Anyways, that is Super Punch Out. Um, maybe I'll do another Punch Out one of these days if I'm ever, ever able to beat them. I have no idea. Um, but thanks for joining me, guys. And yeah, I hope you guys are as pumped as I am about Little Mac being in Super Smash Brothers. That's awesome. And I'll see you guys next time on whatever it is I do. I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya.